What's going on, guys? This is Danny. Dot Mac one two three four five six seven eight nine. Back again this week for vlog number seven. Uh, the only thing that got me out of bed this morning was doing this vlog. I am horribly sick, and I don't feel good at all. But um, I feel obligated to do this because I've been doing it weekly, so I'm going to do it. And there is news to talk about, so I will do it, even though I feel horrible. Got my vitamin C here to help me feel better, but it hasn't been working so far. So today we have to talk about. Batman Return to Arkham. I'm very excited as a Batman Arkham fan uh, for this game, well, games. Um, and I guess there's like small Kingdom Hearts news that I have to talk about to correct upon my video last week. So without further ado, let's get it started. So huge Batman news came out, well, <clears throat> This was rumored for a while, but, like, this first official trailer came out yesterday or the day before. And what it is, is Batman Return to Arkham. Now, the Batman Arkham games are considered the best superhero video games of all time. And what they're doing after the success of all of their games but most recently Arkham Knight which was on the next gen consoles PS4 and Xbox One what they're doing is they're remastering Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City they're remastering them with new graphics all of that to make it look smoother fresher and they're putting them on the next gen consoles which is PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and from what I can say about this trailer is this game looks beautiful. I mean, like, I mean, some of the stuff looks weird so far. Like, Hugo Strange kind of looks, like, worse than he did on, like, the PS3 or Xbox 360. But, like, a lot of the stuff looks so smooth. Like, Batman, like, he looks so smooth, as, as well as the Joker. Like, this looks awesome. I'm so excited about this, considering the fact I've just been, like, replaying through... Arkham Knight, or Arkham, well, all the Arkham games, like, this is awesome, it comes out July 26th, I believe, and it includes all of the DLCs that came out with these games, so if you never, like, bought any of those, you'll be able to play those with the main storylines of the games, so this is a great exclusive pack, I highly recommend this for the fans of the Arkham games and fans of Batman, July 26th, it's going to be great, keep an eye out for it. So in terms of Kingdom Hearts news, I guess I have to correct myself about last week. So, well, it was originally confirmed, but <clears throat> Square Enix is pull, pulling more pull, pulling more crap with its fans, and um, so technically nothing is confirmed yet, even though it was before, but... Um, so the lineup for E3 came out and Square Enix doesn't have a press conference. So it said that Kingdom Hearts 3 and 2.8 will both be at E3. But how are they going to show new content for Kingdom Hearts 3 if they don't have a press conference? So I'm kind of concerned now because this could cause outrage with the fans. And um, 2.8 will be there for sure. But if there's nothing new for Kingdom Hearts 3, that could mean more delays and stuff like that. But I still have hope that 2017 is the year for Kingdom Hearts 3. I believe that. So I still have hope for that, but if that's going to be the truth, you got to start cranking out some content pretty soon. Um, especially if you're not going to do anything at uh, E3, then 
if the D23 Expo later on this year is a place where you want to do it and you're just going to show it in Japanese, then, you know, I don't know what's going on. Because Square Enix said they were going to do a lot of stuff. Like, apparently they hadn't known how much of a American following Kingdom Hearts has. So, they said they're going to start this new initiative where they're going to, you know, treat Americans the same way as, you know, the Japanese fans. <laughs> But so far, like, all we've had is Unchained Key, which isn't bad, it's great. But, you know, we everybody wants to see more Kingdom Hearts 3. And the, the only reason I'm just kind of, like, have feelings towards it is because I don't know when um, we're going to see Kingdom Hearts 3. And, you know, I guess I'm just an impatient guy because I, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know about Kingdom Hearts 3, so... So guys, that just about wraps it up for this week. Um, in terms of playing and, and watching stuff, uh, playing and watching stuff I can't do because I'm uh, waiting on a new TV. It should be here tomorrow, so I'll get back to my playing and watching a lot of stuff. So there you go. I, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, also in terms of like my videos and everything like that, uh, a new intro will be made for next week. Um, since I'm kind of moving away from the sports stuff, um, like I realized I haven't talked about sports in my vlogs for a few weeks now, so, um, I'm just gonna eliminate from that from these vlogs completely, moreover, because, you know, I have to throw it in at the end and I just feel like it's like a, a Seinfeld situation where... You know the babu bot thing if you know what i'm talking about so yeah um other than that you know get ready for a new intro and outro next week um i apologize for being sick you know but there was news to talk about so i, lo I love to do this um let me know what you think about batman arkham or return to arkham in the comments let me know how you feel about kingdom hearts 3 in the comments uh Please help out my channel, like and subscribe, um, and go check out the rest of my vlogs. Um, so thanks again, guys. I'm going to keep doing this because I love doing it. Um, we'll see you next week with a new intro and outro. Peace.